Let's go ahead and do this. So, let's Ruby, go. let's go. Here we go. Question okay. number one: okay. What was the first and last concert that you attended? Oh, oh, okay. First concert ever was Less Than Jake. Last concert I attended was The Misfits in Chicago. Oh, so good. Okay, I love The Misfits too. Do you have a favorite? What's your favorite Misfits song? Mm, I'm I, I'm always super partial to Die Die My Darling. Um, it's it's just a classic, and it's so much fun to sing in the concert because everybody knows the words to all of that, so everybody's <laughs> screaming it. So yeah, I love Die Die My Darling for sure. Question and Last number- Dress for sure. Oh yeah. Question number two: What was the last TV show that you binge watched? Ooh, you, the new season of you. Oh, no, that's a lie. Um, I've watched Squid Games since oh, then, yes. before, after Two that. So good Squ- shows. you and then Squid Games. Um, I didn't shows. know if I would like Squid Games, but I was hooked and I watched it in one night. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of you? Did you did you think it was like the best season? <laughs> I don't know if it was the best, but I did love it. I did love it. It did not disappoint by any means. I am super partial to the first season, um, I think, because it's super simplistic. There's not as many other elements involved in it uh, without, you know, be having any spoilers by any means. But there's not as many elements. But And it's it's super just about, like, the two um, characters, the main characters. Uh, so I'm very partial to the first season. But the third season was was awesome. I feel like every episode was just, like, something new, something dramatic. It's, it's every just so episode. well done. I love that show. <laughs> so good. Uh, question number three. Do you remember what the last thing you purchased is? The last thing I purchased? Ooh. Halloween candy, I think. Smart. <laughs> yeah. Question, <laughs> question number four. You're starting a band and you get to pick any four people Ooh. to join you. Who are they? They could be famous, non-famous, doesn't matter. Any okay, four are people. they musicians or just people in general? It could be musicians. It could Anything. be wrestlers. It could be anybody. <sighs> okay. Okay. I've thought about this question before. Um, <laughs> uh, Lars Fredrickson is number one. Uh, Joan Jett is number Ooh, two. Oh, yes. That's her. I can't roll up my sleeve, but she's tattooed on my arm. Uh, number two, so I have four. Um, Robbie Brookside, <laughs> uh, which is weird because he's not he's not obviously a musician, but he's like my punk Yoda. Like that oh. man is absolutely <laughs> everything there is to know about punk rock. Um and then dancing. <laughs> oh, nice. I think this is my crew. It's a weird group of people, but I'm here for it. <laughs> it sounds like a badass crew. I love it. Oh, yeah. uh, question number five. What is your favorite restaurant? Favorite restaurant? I think I'm going to have to go. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely always holds a place in my heart, mainly because of the rolls is Texas Roadhouse. Um, oh, the so cinnamon butter rolls. I used to work there and I think I gained like 15 pounds when I worked there because I ate those rolls nonstop. <laughs> and you're like, and it was worth it. It was uh, worth every minute of it. <laughs> uh, question number six, name me your top three favorite Ooh, movies. That's hard. Um, I love horror movies. It's probably my favorite genre. Um, I would have to say top three movies would be um, Hereditary, Suspiria, and then I'm going to go with the one that's not a horror movie, which is Usual Suspects. Ooh. Ooh so, okay. Yeah, I'm going to add those this are, to my list. Those, those are, are the three quality movies. <laughs> I love that. Uh, question number seven. What's the best way to spend a day off? Ooh, best way to spend the day off. I usually spend my days off um, – with my animals. Um, I have three horses, two and a half, really. I have two bigs and a uh, mini. Um, and then uh, I have two dogs and a uh, naked cat. So I have like a whole freak show going on in my house. Um, so I spend a lot of time probably riding horses or, you know, taking my dogs for walks and stuff like that. So probably just spending time with my animals and hanging out. That is beautiful. Does it take a lot of, I can imagine it takes a lot of work to take care of one yes. horse, better yet three. Yes. And they're all very high maintenance and just, <laughs> I, it, they wouldn't be my animals if they weren't super high maintenance. All of my animals are for whatever reason. Um, but they're all worth it. They're, they're amazing. And it's, I've, I've built a very, uh, a very peaceful life out here, I think. So I'm very, I'm very grateful. They're like, mom, we need the good quality hay. A hundred percent good quality hay. One of my horses has asthma, which I didn't even think horses could get asthma. One of my horses has asthma. The other one's a senior horse. My cat is naked, so she always needs sweaters. My dog, one of my dogs is a Sharpay. He's super wrinkly. And uh, so he just needs all the attention all the time. So yeah, I, uh, I, I 
Britley scored big with all six of them. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I'm sure it's like so worth it. I love it, that. It's so it cute. Is for sure. Question number eight. What's the nicest thing a fan has ever done for you? Ooh, <sighs> that is hard. See, I have, I get fans that like draw me pictures and I get fans that like make me little figurines, any fan art, like when people paint me or draw me in cartoon version is, is amazing to me. Um, but I think the most meaningful one that I got one time, um, I had sent a video to a girl who was having a little bit of a hard time and her mom just sent me the most meaningful message about, you know, what it meant to her and, and what, you know, how, what I mean to her, I guess. And it, it's very humbling in those moments where you're just like, wow, like this has an impact, like a bigger impact than I see on a daily and a day-to-day basis. Like we know it, but we don't always see it. And the mother sending me this really heartfelt message about how much she appreciated it was, you know, something that I will hold to my heart for, you know, for the rest of my life. It was, it was just, it was really beautiful. So that those, those things mean the most to me for sure. That's so beautiful. Cause that's when, you know, you really help someone. That's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Question number nine, if you can become an expert in something by tomorrow, what by would tomorrow. it be? Oh, like magically expert. you'd become an expert. Magically. <laughs> magically. Expert. Done. Um, <laughs> I think the first thing that comes to mind um, is something that I'm working on that I'm hoping at least hopefully by the end of the year, I will be able to do well. Um, I'm working on learning sign language. Oh. Um, so I would love to, it's very difficult. There's a lot of, a lot more to it than I, 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 cause I knew a little bit when I was young, but like, there's a lot more to it than I had ever realized. And, you know, obviously, you know, it's a new language. So I, I think if I, if I could be it tomorrow and just be fluent in sign language, I would be, I would be a very happy girl. <laughs> that is so awesome. Question number 10, last question. What's the craziest thing you feel you've ever done? <laughs> the craziest <laughs> thing I feel I've ever done. Oh Lord. Um, Oh, I don't know. You're like, I, I, okay. I guess this is kind of crazy. This is a really weird story. So I'll just kind of, I'll shorten it a little bit. But I, um, one time I, (laughs) I went to jail for driving with a suspended license. Um, I didn't know it was suspended. I didn't know it was suspended. I had moved and I had insurance in, I had insurance, but just not in the state that I moved to. And I got please provide proof of insurance within 30 days. And it, they sent it to my old address. So I never got it. And then it got suspended and I didn't know it. And so I got pulled over for something silly, probably like going a couple miles over and they found out my license was suspended. So I went to jail. <laughs> they take you to jail for that, oh by the way. Oh I went to jail. God. And um, I was in Indiana in an area that apparently one of the deputies was a fan. <laughs> It was in the, I was on the Indies. I had, I wasn't, you know, signed anywhere by that point. He was a fan. And while I was in the cell, he came into the cell and asked me for an autograph. No. <laughs> so serious? I signed an autograph in jail. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, were you just, you're like, you're going to help me out it's here? ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. So he was like, hey, you know, at the time, you know, he's like, Heidi Loveless, how are you? And I was like, oh, you know, I've been better. <laughs> and yeah, he was, he was like, oh, you know, when's the next time I'm going to see you in Indianapolis? I was like, you know, it just kind of depends on how all this plays out. And uh, he, uh, yeah, he, after that, he asked me for an autograph. I was like, okay, but can you get me out of here? And no. All right. Just see you later. It was crazy. So yeah, I, I guess like that's, that's the craziest trippy. thing. It, it, it's like trip because like one moment you're like having like the worst day of your life. And then the next mm-hmm. it's like, well, okay, like I'll sign you this autograph. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was crazy. That's it was amazing. a crazy thing. Yeah, I love yeah. that story. That's Ridiculous. Amazing. Well, yeah, at least so y'all check your account. licenses, make sure they're not suspended before you get pulled over. Cause you go to jail for that, by the way. I'm going to check mine right after today. this. Yeah. Honestly, honestly. <laughs> Ruby, I want to thank you so much for sharing that story with me, for doing this interview with me. You're so much fun to talk to, and I'm pretty sure we'll get to chat pretty soon uh, again. But Ruby, before we go, please feel free to plug in anything you'd like to plug in. Uh Oh, well, um, if you want to follow me on stuff, um, I am at the real Ruby Soho um, on everything. Uh 
I am starting a Twitch channel soon, as soon as I can figure out how to do it. Um, <laughs> it's very, it's a lot. Um, and then make sure that you tune in to Dynamite every Wednesday and Rampage every Friday and check out Full Gear because it's coming up soon. And uh, yeah, and then come and see us at shows. Check it out. Go to AEW's website and see if one were in a city near you. Amazing. Thank you so much, Ruby. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye.